Turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are, here I am, to explain, to teach, and create again. I just a second ago finished a little Bronto, and this was made out of the sparkling grape juice bottle. Um, and while I'm at it, I'm going to do a couple of things out of it. I, I, I see that I'm getting a, little, a few more hits off just the sparkling grape juice bottle surprisingly than some of the other stuff that I've been doing but I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick seahorse out of it tiny one and I'll put a loop on it so it can hang on a necklace piece or whatever or pendant or an earring or whatever okay that's believe it or not the body that little bump that I just made right there is the body to the seahorse and with this little tiny flame, I'm able to control it really well and get a lot of detail. I'm used to that Carlisle. I'll have to admit, that Carlisle has been um, my fallback torch. And I have to admit, I love it to death. But I'm actually thinking about getting a new torch besides this budget one. But this budget one has gotten me thinking in different directions too, but doing tiny things again. I've already uh, been working on a better stand for the torch, and I should get some versatility out of it, which is pretty cool. Okay, this is the middle back fin on the seahorse. As you see, I've just done the tiny ribs down the back end of that. Now we're going to do the top of the seahorse I switched it over I'm sitting here chatting with you and just making them really really quick but we shall see what it looks like and if it's good you'll see it if not it <laughs> didn't happen <no. laughs> um, I'm going this week to Asheville this is the end of January in 2018 and I'm thinking very seriously at buying a new torch. And I love my Carlisle, but I'm going to try something different too. And go from there. Hey, that's what life's all about, right? A little bit of different stuff. Now, while I'm working with this, I realize that I've really got to work... It, this is soft glass, and you got to work it a little bit different than, than Boro. And I can work it just a little bit quicker than Boro. But I'm working to the side flame instead of the, the main flame to get the detail on these things. It's still there. The detail is coming out, but you got to keep it to the side like I am right now. And it's melting the glass, but it, most of the work that I'm doing is well out of the center flame but it's getting the job done quite nicely and at this size you could do boro and or soft glass practically side by side because it's basically being heated up and melted faster both soft and boro because of the the uh, tinier it's like making a cake compared to a cupcake i've said it a couple of times but that's true it's really really true and that that's the way it works and here we go and it's get that little bit of a nub off there that one's done too oops might help if i show it off to you too I guess I can hold on to it a little tiny one thanks for watching and as always enjoy your day Carpe Vitro